Today's live stream, we're going to be comparing the top three e-bikes of 2023. We have two more behind Didi. Didi's uh, behind the camera, so everybody say hi to Didi. What's up, everybody? Hey, guys. All right, so we're going to be comparing the C3 Strom to the Ride One Up and the Super 73 RX. So a lot of you guys have been messaging me, DMing me, private messaging me all over the place on Instagram, Facebook, or even on YouTube. And you guys have been wanting me to compare these three and you guys have so many questions. So I figured why not go live with the three bikes that you guys are most excited for this year. We also have, the, we're not leaving out the Spark Cycle Work Bandit or the Aero Rider Grizzly. So we're gonna be pulling those out too. But right now, these are the three bikes that you guys keep on asking me about. So we're gonna just kind of go over the specs of all three bikes. And then we're gonna answer any questions that you guys may have. And just so you guys know, I do have a review video and unboxing video and assembly video for all these bikes here. If you guys do wanna support channel, check out those links down below for, actually I don't have a link for Super 73 yet, but we will be having affiliate code coming soon. I'll be visiting California very soon, but more talks about that later on. We have the Ride One Up. There is a link down below. Make sure you go down to that link once you go through that link, you can go to your checkout, use code SHREDDY to get $50 off. It ends at the end of the month or once there are 50 codes already gone. So I don't even know. I think like 30 or 40 are gone so far. It only so, works at that link below, guys. So make sure you guys do click the link to get in there to use a code. That way they, they will know that I sent you. Um, the C3 Strom right now is, did I even say the price of that? $23.45 with my $50 discount code on that. Uh, but $23.95 normal price. The C3 Strom retails for $26.99. And again, I do have, either it's a $50 or $100 discount code for C3 Strom. Use code SHREDDY, but make sure you go through that link also. Um, what's up, everybody? Uh, let's say hi to everybody in a chat while we're here. Hey, we have the story of us. I wish the ride went up and C3 Strom sold in Canada. I know, me too. I wonder I wonder if they're gonna switch that up soon. Hopefully they'll they'll get these shipped out to you guys soon, I hope. I Scoot Connecticut. Uh, what's up, I Scoot? He said, send me the cash, I'll sneak one across the border. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, we have a Shredheads member, the Scarecrow. Shredheads, oh yeah, I guess I wanna give a huge shout out to every single Shredhead member. Thank you guys for joining. That really helps support the channel and getting me some kind of van to travel and throw these bikes in to come see you guys. So if you guys do wanna support the channel and join the Shredheads membership, you guys get early preview on videos. Um, what, what else, shout outs to you guys. So shout outs to all the Shredhead members, you guys freaking rock. Uh, Scarecrow's in here. I think he's the only Shredhead member in here right now, right? Your name lights up in the light. Yep, you chat. get a little green, a little Shredhead next to your head or next to your name. <laughs> so yeah, check out that link down below, youtube.com forward slash Shreddy Mixgate forward slash join. Click that. It's five bucks a month. Let me know if you guys have any ideas of any other memberships you'd like us to add to that too. Maybe we can do like a $20 tier, tier where I do like one-on-one -on -one live talks with you guys. And like giveaways and stuff. You know? Yeah, members only giveaways. Somebody gave us that idea. Members only t-shirts, somebody. I think, did Scarecrow give us that idea? The members only t-shirts. We have another member in the house, Louie. What's up? up? Heck yeah. All the Shredhead members are joining. I Scoot Connecticut. Robert from Hartford, Connecticut here. Hey. I got to come visit you sometime. We're going to be coming to see Spark very soon. There's so much going on there and just so much that I'm missing out on. So once we get this transit van, I'm freaking driving up past New York. We're going through Spark. I'm not passing New York. I'm going there too. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me there and I've, I've been just neglecting it. I need to go to New York. There's a big Sauron mega ride going on. So I'll be coming soon. Philly in the building. What's happening? Philly, what's up? I'm going to sit down because my business. Scarecrow, the ride went up. See, nice looking bike. It's a very cool looking bike for sure. For sure. The C3 Strom has the nicest looking headlight, I Scoot Connecticut said. I like the fact that these two bikes do have a high and low beam switch on them. So thanks for bringing that up. So the cool thing, this isn't stock, not a stock headlight. This is from wickedthumb.com. There is a code down there or maybe a link to get there and use code SHREDDY for like 5% off these headlights. But you got high and low beam switches on these bikes. So you can essentially take off this light, throw on something like this and have a high and low beam selector on a even brighter light if you want to do that. So I think that's pretty cool having that selector switch on there. Fluff24, hello everyone from California. What up, Cali? I cannot wait to get back out there. Maybe, shoot, man, it, it might be very soon actually. There's, there's stuff going on and that I don't want to miss out on. The story of us said the ride one up was supposed to be a 400 pound weight capacity. 
Is it a four hundred? What kind of alloy aluminum? And yeah, to me, like, um, I, I'll, I'll get to the frame stuff later because I, I got stuff to talk about with the frames and the way they feel and where they should ride, stuff like that. Was that all the all the comments for now? I, I'll just start talking like the specs of these three e-bikes. So we all know that the Super 73 RX now has a new name. They have different uh, models, but it's pretty much the same exact bike, different uh, tires. I think they're using the Grizzly like off-road thicker knobby tires. I have the um, aftermarket uh, V-Tire Huntsman's on here, but this is a 48 volt e-bike with a 20 amp hour battery. These two are 52 volt e-bikes and they, bo they both do have 20 amp hour batteries. Um, I'm pretty sure the Super 73 RX does have a 30 amp controller. The Ride One Up has a 20 amp, 28 amp controller and the C3 Strom has a 35 amp controller. But I was so surprised when I did the reviews that I did get more of a top speed on the Ride One Up, but I don't know if that's because maybe there's like a weight difference on the frame or what, because they pretty much have the same exact, I'm gonna grab that camera just so I can get up close to everything. So they do have like the same exact motor, which I'm gonna show you guys here. Ugh. So we got the Bafang, this is a C3 Strom, so we have a Bafang motor with the mag wheels, 750 watt. This one peaks at 1500 watts, or if it's getting like too shaky, 1500 watts. And then the C3 Strom, look, the same exact Bafang motor, 750 watts. And I think this one peaks at 1500 watts, but that's crazy with the smaller, uh, 28 amp controller compared to the 35 amp controller on the C3 uh, Strom. And uh, I guess we'll get to the Super. I don't want to skip that out. So right here, oh, crap, I want to say it's a stock 1200 watt and it peaks up to 2300 watts. Damn, I just put it up on the video recently too. I'll look up the specs for that. But um, yeah, it's crazy. So out of these three e-bikes, one, two, three, that one's the fastest. I think I hit around 35 or 34 miles. And I think, no, I did hit like 35 on there. So, um, so yeah, I did about 35 miles an hour on the ride one up, about 30 miles an hour on a Super 73 RX. And just so you know, the Super 73 RX now, the new, I don't know if the newer bikes come with the torque update, but I didn't do the torque update on the Super 73 just because um, once you do the newer torque update, every time you turn off the bike and turn it back on, it reverts you to class two. So if you, if you uh, have it in, in mode four, unlocked off-road mode, once you turn it off, back to class two, you gotta go in the app, change it again, but they do have like a workaround, another like secondary, somebody made an app to where you, when you turn on their app, it'll connect to the bike and put it back into mode four. Excuse me, guys. I'll make another, I'll make a video about that app pretty soon and maybe I'll update it. Maybe I'll update it. Um, both of these bikes do come locked out too. So with the C3 Strom, all you have to do is download their app, unlock it through there. Super easy. With a ride one up, you got to make sure you send customer service. Um, just send them out an email, let them know that you want to unlock the bike. And once they get that email, they will send you something over, like a waiver to sign, and then they'll send you the codes on how to unlock the bike. It's actually pretty easy. There's like a few steps and I think two different codes you gotta put in there. Not hard at all to unlock that bike, but that's pretty cool. I wish uh, Super 73 would give us the option to where it wouldn't revert us to, to mode two, but um, a lot of people have been asking about wheelies. Can you wheelie? These bikes, you can wheelie all these bikes. For me, the easiest one to wheelie right now is a Super because that's what I learned on. Um, with these two bikes, they're very, these two bikes are very similar. Almost the same exact cockpit, and like I said, same. Do almost, you want to pull them out sideways so we can like see them? Yeah, bikes? actually. Um, the Ride One Up and C3 Strong have like similar wheels. Very so similar, yeah. So I, I, brought, I, I brought it up to them guys. So yeah. So very similar wheels. So this Very is a similar. C3 Strom? Yeah, this is a C3 Strom. So the cockpit is. I might as well grab the camera again. I can do it. You sure? Yeah. All right. So, as you guys can see, the the cockpit is is exactly the same on both these bikes. Handlebar is just a little bit different with uh, the bars being thicker down here in this section compared to the like little bit 
little thinner bars on the Ride 1 Up, but as you can see, same exact display, same display, same controls with the USB charger underneath, same exact controls for your high beam, low beam, and your turning signals, which I forgot to mention, both these bikes come with turning signals. Super 73 was supposed to have the kit, um, I was supposed to be out years ago, but I don't know if they're still working on the kit, but I, I think there's other brands out there that do have aftermarket kits that you can slap on the Super 73, really easy. Um, but yeah, as you can see, these, these bikes are very, very, very similar. A um, little bit newer bikes, uh, with Super 73 being around a little bit longer, of course, they have a little bit bigger of a community, um, big group rides, like they, uh, these guys like to set up group rides. So if you guys are ever looking for group rides in your area, just look up like Super 73 community pages and stuff like that, which is really cool. A lot of helpful people on there. Let me pull up the ride one up, put it sideways just so you can check it out. Just so you guys know, I am five foot 11, 150 or so pounds. So when you guys do see my reviews, if I don't say my, my height and weight, that's what I am. So the ride one up, uh, the seats, I guess I can talk about seats too. This has been definitely one of the more comfy seats that I've, I've reviewed a bike on, because after, what I killed the battery on, like 18.9 miles or something like that, almost 20 miles, like my biscuits were good, like they felt great. Th definitely a good stock seat. Um, if you have wider biscuits and want something a little bit wider, you can always either uh, hit up OC Cafe Racer, they might hook you up with, with something they could uh, make custom for you, or you can just always up upholster it yourself or take it out to a, a shop or something like that. Uh, da, 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 da. The seat through Strom, that seat was actually very comfortable too, very squishy. Not as squishy as the Rod 1 Up. I'm gonna show you this seat. It's an aftermarket seat. Uh, the stock seat on the Super was, is a little bit thin. Definitely hurt my biscuits. Quick swap out to the uh, OC Cafe Racer 2 Up seat. Beautiful, the colors look awesome on this. Like This bike isn't stock, like I kinda modded it, uh, this little, a uh, basket from Irv Labs, awesome to have, man. I went out to uh, Wawa the other day, stuck a sub in there and some drinks, came home, it was awesome. Uh, it's a different headlight too. Different headlight, yeah, I said that earlier from Wicked Thunders. Different handlebars. Yeah, different handlebars. <laughs> Everything's been yeah. changed, so this well, isn't what it would look like. If you they're handlebars it. from Super 73, so you can get these bars from them. I got these stickers from uh, Blur Boundaries, which I'm gonna have to get some, uh, another set because it's starting to get a little faded. This bike has been through a lot. I have beat this bike up a lot. Okay, people are having questions about which one's made in the USA. So we actually have two other here, two others that are made in the USA as well that Shreddy is going to pull out and show you guys. Um, these are not made in the USA. None of these are made in the USA. Everything here is pretty much made in China. <laughs> but um, what I mean like designed in the USA. Oh, designed, yeah. The Super 73 was designed in the US. I'm not sure about these two companies. I think they have a headquarters in San Diego. San Diego. C3 Strom, I'm not sure. Uh, Super 73, they're in Irvine. They have a, they have a few facilities in Irvine. Um, Branford, Connecticut. This Bark Cycle Works Bandit back there. You guys um, want to see the two other mopeds as well, or are you? Let me talk. Let me okay. talk about like the frame <laughs> stuff. And as you guys know, I've been having so much fun doing wheelies on this bike. I didn't even talk about the wheelies. So, doing the wheelies on these two bikes. If you guys remember on the review, I did talk about that throttle response. Like if you gave it full throttle for like a second and let go, it still gives you like a half a second of like pickup, which got weird. So I, I, I'm not sure if that would get weird like doing wheelies if like it kind of takes off on you without, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to swap the brakes on both these bikes and I'll practice. I'll, I'll take some spills for you guys in e-bike science. Um, what else with the frame? Oh yeah, I forgot to say the ride one up. I'm going to be getting the... Uh, there's a center basket also on this um, that goes right here. And then you'll actually be able to put a secondary battery on this. You'll actually be able to put a secondary battery on the back of the C3 Strom, which I totally forgot. So this is um, a ride one But up. what's cool is their basket is, is right here. And then you could open the latches on both sides, which is really awesome. I can't wait to check that out. Um, but for off-roading, I'm gonna choose the Super 73, number one, better for off-roading. Number two, better for off-roading. And that one, the C3 Strom, you're gonna go pretty much all street on that. It's hard tail, no rear suspension. Um, and then uh, components, uh, like brakes and stuff. Where's brakes on this side? Oh, I forgot to, uh, to talk about this too. 
so our, our little uh, chain tensioner, uh, Mr. Central Driver actually, actually brought this to my attention. Thank you, brother, if you end up watching this later. Um, chain tensioner actually should be hanging a little bit more. Right now, my chain tensioner is blocking me from able, being able to stick a set of pegs right there. Um, so normally, they would have like a longer chain, so the chain tensioner could go down a little bit. But I'm kind of feeling like maybe I can just take the chain tensioner off and not even use it on there because it was like really, really loud, making loud noises. But if you look on their website, their, their tensioner is like down here and out of the way of, of that. But um, other than that, Maybe I love we these can spikes. bring one of those in too. Someone and then, just had a question about Zeus bikes. Zeus, oh man, I have to go downstairs for that one. Do you think Zeus bikes can compete with these bikes? They are having a competition right now too, like a Definitely. build off. Um, component wise, the, the like a, a muting. There's a discount link for Zeus um, in the description below as well. Shreddy 220, $150 off Zeus, which is pretty awesome. So the components on, on the, like the cheaper $2,000 bikes are gonna be not as good as a Super 73. So our brakes, um, our brakes are like a no, no name. I don't know, like probably like Zoom type brakes or something. Rotors are a little bit smaller and I don't even know how many millimeters these rotors are because it doesn't really say. Normally it tells you on there. Yeah, so we got small rotors, um, no name uh, brakes, but they do work pretty well. They do work. Oh, okay. And then I think the same type of brakes are either on the C3 Strom. The C3 Strom does have gears. This is the only bike out of these three that does have gears on it. We do have, uh, I think it's eight speed or seven, seven speed. Altus derailleur and Altus shifter with a half twist throttle. Oh, again, I'm, I'm like jumping all over the place. So both of these bikes do have a half twist throttle. And over here we do have a thumb throttle. Um, I love half twist and thumb, so I can't go wrong with either of them. And brakes, these brakes look a little bit beefier than the, um, Woku, yes. We'll get to that question soon. Ride one up. As you can see, the brakes. The answer is yes. And he has still no name brakes, but they're, they do look a little bit beefier than a ride one up. She's a little bit bigger. The rotor's a lot bigger. I think we have like 180 millimeter rotor on these. And then components over here. Oh God, I'm about to knock it over. I'm glad I put that rug down. We have a lot of people just joining. Okay, so should we answer some questions before I uh, show the components over here? What's up everybody? So everybody that is just joining this live stream, we are comparing the top three e-bikes that you guys have been really, really, really asking about. You guys have been messaging me all over the place. So I figured I'd take these bikes out, compare them all, and answer any questions that you guys may have. We also have Spark Cycle Works Bandit over there and the Arrow Rider Grizzly. I didn't forget about them. And somebody earlier said the Lyric Graffiti, but we haven't gotten one yet. So once we do get that, we'll have a review video out soon. And we have people asking about Zeus, so we might have to bring one of those in as well. <laughs> Why does she listen to me all the time? <laughs> she listens to me all the time. Let me just go over the brakes really quick on this. So these are Tektro brakes, four piston, 180 millimeter rotors on this. So you're gonna get better components on the bike. The brakes feel really, really, really nice on this bike. I just wish that the, um, the brake levers were those smaller ones where you can kind of hold on with two fingers and it doesn't have that much hanging off the side. That's the style that I like. Let me know what style you guys like brake lever wise. So which one of these bikes is the fastest? The ride one up. It was about 35, I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did on my review. Um, this one goes about 30, 32-ish, and I think I hit like 34 on this bike. But out of all these bikes, like I feel like this one, the frame feels the most moped -y, like solid, very solid frame. Like look how thick everything is going on. I still got beach stuff going on on there, but if you were to convert this bike to make it go faster, the, I don't think the frame would have a problem you might want to swap out the mag wheels and maybe uh, get rid of the dropout fork because I feel like having a through axle is a lot better than dropout forks on, on faster e-bikes. If you plan on going like 40 plus. Yes, the a, GPS speed. Uh, can you repeat the speeds again? So I did, uh, I used GPS speedometer on all these reviews. Uh, I did about 35 on that, 
30 on this bike right now, and then uh, 34 on this bike. So if you guys do want to watch those reviews, you guys can check them all out. And that bike on the left is the Ride 1-Up. Yeah, that's a Ride 1-Up Rev 1. So that's the one you guys have been really asking about to compare to the Super 73. Um, and Super 73. And over here, we got the C3 Strom Astro Pro. If you guys are interested in any of these bikes, there are links down below. Not for the Super right now. They'll be coming soon. Code Shreddy for both of these. Make sure you guys go through the links. Go to your checkout. Use Code Shreddy. You're going to get $50 off either one of these bikes. Uh, should we get some questions? Or do you guys yeah. want to see the Spark I can pull out and Air the spark. Rider? Oh, good. We'll go to some questions. Then you can pull out the other bikes as well. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, so we have Shredhead members, the Scarecrow, what Louie. What's up? Fluff24. Woohoo! Said hello, everyone from California. Uh, yes, yeah, three of us. Ride one up, supposed to be a 400 pound weight capacity. Yep. What kind of alloy aluminum? I think it's 6160. Hold on. E Rod Electric Rod Vehicles. Hello, Shreddy. Hello, D. Hello, What's everybody. up? Thanks for joining. Hell yeah. Thank you for joining, brother. Good to see you, man. Shane Largo, I really like, like the Rev 1 because you can mount a second battery. Yep, I do like that too. But same thing with the, with, uh, the C3 Storm and the uh, Super 73. There's a spot to mount a battery right here in the front there. Uh, two more Shredhead members, Nevermind and Louie. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining. So the Ride Rev 1 does have a 400-pound weight capacity. That's pretty awesome. And this thing had great torque, as you guys can see in those videos with it pulling me up those hills. Um, the height range for that is between 5'2 and 6'4. And just for size, I'm almost 6 feet tall. I'm about 5'11. There we go. This does feel a little bit lower than the Super 73 RX. Um, yeah, 500. So the total weight of this bike with battery is 93 pounds. Handlebar height is 40.5 inches. Handlebar reach is, is 14.75 inches. Seat height is 32.5 inches. So that's not bad at all. The wheelbase is 49 inches. Total length, 72 inches on that bike. And of course, we got the highs and low beams. We got a horn, same thing with that bike. Any questions? Uh, just more people, never mind, said what's up from Hawaii. Hawaii! Louis said out of all three of the bikes, ride one up. You like, a, you like that one the best? Hell yeah. We and Toys, what's up? Bubba Shitty, what's up? What's up, Bubba? What's up? Yeah, more questions. Can you add an additional battery to the Rev 1? So, uh, hold on. I forget the torque. That had 80 Newton meters of torque, and I think this one was 90 Newton meters. Hold on. Let me, let me get up in there. Let me get up in there. So, I remember when... So, he just did all of the review videos for these, and I remember you did definitely like the torque of the Ride 1 Up Rev 1. Yeah, so I think it did have, like, 90 Newton meters of torque, if I am correct. 400 pounds. And you can add an additional battery. Yep, and a little rack. Then this one does come with these little Molly side panel things. That, that's actually pretty cool. Do you guys want to see the Grizzly or the Spark Cycle Works Bandit next compared? Billy in the building, hands down for me, it's the C3 Strom Astro Pro. Hell yeah. Okay. This thing is a solid bike. Like, man, this, this would be fun to upgrade. This would be really fun to put like a 72 volt system on this sucker. And it looks very futuristic, like a robot, like robotic. Yeah, I said it's like, uh, what is it? Like uh, the Terminator came from the future and dropped it off. <laughs> I'm the Terminator. Nice big headlight. Let's turn it on actually. Daytime running light. So it has a daytime running light and you touch the power button to turn on the night light and that's high beam. Low beam, high beam, low beam. And then boom, off again. Daytime running light. The store said, what's up from Cali? West coast, the best coast. The best coast. I'm going to come and see you guys. I'm coming soon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in uh, Dana Point soon, hanging out with Chris Shaw and Mama Shaw and the crew. Really excited to go back to the Cali. Excited to go back to Texas. Texas trip's coming soon, guys. So if you're in Texas, you want to catch up, I'll probably be around like the Denton in Fort Worth area, hanging out with Wicked Thumb and Zoos over at Fort Worth. So be on a lookout for those fun videos. Did they say they want to see the Bandit first or do they want to see the Aerial Rider Grizzly first? What did they say first? Bandit. Bandit? All right, so the 
The Spark Cycle Works Bandit is one of the most, most um, customizable e-bikes out of all these. And that's straight from their website. You can totally customize this bike to your liking. That's what I love about this brand is the fact that you can make this bike yours from the get-go. You can buy it stock for 31, did I say 3120, 31.25 right now? Let me, let me pull out the... the um, and they're located in Connecticut, Branford, Branford, Connecticut. Branford, Connecticut. And what's your discount code for Spark? Use code Shreddy. It's 100 bucks off. Either 100 or 150. Use code Shreddy and the discount link down below. I don't have my batteries on the Bandit right now, but I do have a, a dual battery set up with the battery blender. And what the battery blender does is with my dual battery set up, I have a 48 volt battery on the top and a 52 on the bottom and the battery blender makes it so I can use them together in parallel no matter what charge they're in also like so they, they don't have to be both fully charged like the blender brings it to like say the 52 volts lower than the 48 volt it'll bring the other battery down to the same then it'll drain them together at least that's what I've been told so that's how my bandit works I have a let me get the, the specs of all this stuff I have a uh, so this band is for amp. street riding more so than the other electric mopeds, right? Well, the, the cool thing about this bike is it does come with a VIN number. So if your state uh, does have like uh, the thing where you have to register a moped, I know in, in Branford, you actually don't have to register mopeds. You could just ride around with mopeds unregistered. That's pretty cool. But uh, they give you a little VIN number, VIN plate. You can take it in uh, to the DMV, get it registered, and actually ride this thing on the road as a moped. And what's cool about being able to get this registered is with laws and all this, all these regulations starting to happen, um, this bike is going to be future-proof, so you're going to be able to ride it regardless of what happens with the laws. But, I mean, you might have to only ride it on the streets and not, be in, not ride it on, like, sidewalks or trails or anything. That's the one downfall of regulations coming. But... Um, I have an upgraded seat again from OC Cafe Racer, so he does sell these seats from there if you want that. The motor is a two horsepower rated motor, 2,000 watt nominal. The, the top speed of this bike is about 40, uh, I think I hit like 45 actually with the 52 volt on there. Uh, we got hydraulic uh, disc brakes in there. I'm pretty sure they're Tektro with a 203 millimeter rotor. Yeah, Tektro hyd hydraulic disc brakes. And the weight limit on this bike is around, it's 300 pounds. The weight of the bike with battery is 87 pounds. Without battery is 60 pounds. The forks is an inverted suspension fork. Then we got a full color display out. Ow, don't hit me. Up here. Um, what else? What else? The lights, the headlights. I, I chose the, the little dual lights like this, but they have so many different options. Um, all, all this aftermarket stuff, you can get it from them. So... Lots of customization. They have a huge chain ring, 60 tooth. So you can pedal this bike going like 30 plus miles an hour, which is awesome. Actually, the same thing with the C3 Strom. They had a, they have a big, I think it was like a 53 tooth uh, uh, sprocket on the front. And I was still pedaling at 32 plus miles an hour on that thing. So that was pretty awesome. Um, I think maybe Spark might be in the chat or they might be joining the chat later. So if you guys do see Spark in the chat, feel free to ask them any questions also if, if there's any questions that I can't answer. Um, and also the all Spark Bandits do come with the foot pegs and it does come with a jacket. You can get a jacket, but you have to register for the Amphead Society. And with that jacket, pretty much you're gonna get um, patches. So you get like 500 miles, you get a patch. So Achievement patches, I guess we can call that. Any questions, guys? Let's get to some questions. So this is good for also taller riders, taller. heavier riders. Yep. Yep. They do have a taller seat you can get, like more cushion. So if you are taller and you, you want to pedal this bike a lot, you can get the taller seat. So a lot of customizable options from Spark Cycle Works. So pretty cool. Love this bike. I love the fact that this one is like totally, totally modded to my loving with uh, the just suspension on the back, the new tires, grips and everything, the seat. What's next? Should we pull and out? what is the discount code for Spark again? If you guys are interested in a Spark Cycle Works Bandit, check out that link down below. Use code SHREDDY and get a, I think $100 off your order. Might be more, might be more, I'm not sure. 
So we're gonna move on to, do you guys have any more questions about the bandit while it's out here? All right, there's a ton of questions coming okay. in. Okay, all right. Um, there's a lot of questions coming in. If anyone wants me to get to their question right away, right away, feel free to send a super chat so it pops up. Gets right to the um, front. I'll also try to answer the Shredhead members since you guys are highlighted and get to some other questions as well. There's just a lot, so. Shredhead! Yeah, guys, we try to get to every single And then single we'll show comment. you guys the Arrow Rider Grizzly after this and talk about that. I have the Frigo in the house, too. I could pull out if you guys want to see the Frigo F1 Pro. It's like a $1,600, like, e-bike, kind of like a starter bike of these types, if, if you know what I mean. Okay. We're getting some questions now, guys. Shredhead members, never mind. Said what's up from Hawaii. Hawaii! Louie had Walter Greenfield to ride one up. Let's see. I might have read some of these. Um, can you... We got that. Can you add additional battery to the Rev 1? Yes. Yes, sir. Um, let's see. Going back through. Let's see. Uh, I scoot said, not in the same class as those bikes, but I'm getting an Engway M20 moped style okay. bike soon. How much is that bike right now? You have a discount link for Engway, too, if anyone's interested. You are? <laughs> yes, you do, because you have an Engway to review. <laughs> um. Did they have any more questions? Yeah, they're wondering the about the fit for a taller rider, six foot two. So a taller rider would work for all of these bikes? Yeah, but I think the best one would be probably the Bandit with it being so long and, and just getting the upgraded seat. So as you can see, if you're like taller, you can sit further back and get a nice good pedal on there. Oh, they said C3 Strom is in San Diego. Again, um, Okay. the Bandit, Spark Bandit is Brantford, from Connecticut. Brantford, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a super chat. What's Let's up? See. How can we help you? Thank you so much. Super, there's so many comments. Oh, here we go. Motion and sound. How fast did you get the Spark Bandit to go? The Spark Bandit and the, uh, Thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much for the super chat. So in the review I did when I added the 52 volt battery, I, I hit close to 45 miles an hour, if not dead on 45 miles an hour. This bike does feel very, very solid. And what's cool too is um, if you want to upgrade this bike, they have a really big, beefy swing arm. You could slap a 72 volt uh, battery in here and like a 5,000 watt motor and a 150 amp controller. <laughs> and you can go flying on the Bandit. Wolf Bane said he's from Canada. Great info on the bikes. Woku said, do you think a Zeus bike can compete with these bikes? I think so, yeah, I would say so. It's just the only thing with Zoos is we don't have uh, suspension front and rear, but I feel like that's something they may be working on, I, I, but I don't know. It, it would be awesome to, to see a Zoos maybe with suspension. I don't know. Maybe they could do like a front fork suspension or something. Um, if you guys have checked out the Zeus review videos. The, yep, I got my review videos on there. Um, they have tons of torque. <laughs> the speed I hit on the 1100 was about like 32 or 33. And then the 750, I think I hit like 26 miles an hour on that. But the 750, the torque on it is insane. It got me up hills that were like super steep that none of these bikes could get me up. Like Zeus. starting from the very bottom was like, it just kept pulling me. So watch my Zoo 750 review. I was so freaking surprised at how that thing performed off road and everything. And what's your discount code for Zeus? Shreddy220. $150 off. Use the link below, guys. Yep. So, of course, this is my Grizzly dual motor. This thing's a dual motor. So this is a totally different league than the rest of these bikes. I want to say, like, a uh, bike like this is more, oh, man. I feel like it's like a good hunting type bike or whatever. Where should I go? This Why one? don't you take the bag off so they can see the No, track. the bag is stuck. I, it, it takes a lot of work to get that off. This rack is a Super 73 rack that we put on aftermarket. But I just love the fact that this bag fits on, on there like so perfect. I could stuff that with, with whatever. I, I got a little side bag here, a little front bag here for the tools. Uh, and again, the upgraded headlight from Wicked Thumb. If you guys are interested in that headlight, link down below. Coach Ready, 5% off the headlights. They have totally different styles all over the place. OC Cafe Racer upgraded seat. Check out their website. I don't have any links for them, but he makes really awesome custom seats if you want that. Uh, what's cool about this seat, it has like a second part. So if I were to take off the rack, I could install like the back part of the seat and then have a, a passenger seat on the back if I wanted to do that. Yeah, that's um, a shorter seat than it came with. It came with a longer seat. He yeah, longer saddle. That. 
Uh, also dual batteries, so I think it's a total of 36 amp hours. And again, this is a 52 volt e-bike. And if you guys remember, I had the V1 that had dual 750. This is the V2, I think they're up to like V3 or V4, but this has dual 1000 watt motors and dual, I think it's dual 30 amp controllers in there, right under the seat. Um, this thing kicks, man. This, this thing is a lot of fun to ride uh, on the dunes, off-road, at the beach. Man, this is just a good off-road bike, but a lot of people don't like uh, the, the bars. It kind of looks like uh, old man bars or something. Comfortable seating position. If you don't like the bars, something easy to swap out. You got the dual rear suspension, front suspension with lockout and adjustments and everything. Uh, Tektro brakes. This one does have a seven speed, uh, I think it's a, yeah, Shimano thumb shifter and the Altus derailleur, just like the Altus derailleur on the C3 Strum. And as you guys see, I only have two, two what do we got? Two bikes with these side view mirrors. I always recommend getting side view mirrors. Um, if you guys are interested in any recommended products that I recommend for e-bikes, check out my link down below for Amazon. And it has all this stuff for e-bikes, Surons, my winter gear, and stuff like that. So you guys have any questions on, on the Aero Rider Grizzly? He does have an Aero Rider discount link below. I believe the link saves you $50 off, yep, so once, check it out. Once you click into there, it should be $50 off. Get a little water. See, another Shredheads member, Don what's Bug. Up? Don Bug, what's up, brother? Con Ride said, ride one up takes the cake. Out of all these? Well, that was before we saw this one. Yeah. I'm and still then, behind, guys. Just for size. Again, I'm almost six feet, 5'11". And that's how the bars look. Very upright position on this bike. I don't know if you guys watched my review on the Hopsco, that low position with, with a book bag on. Oh man, it hurts me. Something like this, if you're wearing a book bag, it shouldn't be that bad. Juan Geraldo said, can I fit a 52 volt 25 AM on the Rev 1? Hmm. Are, uh, what do you want to put, like a triangle battery in there? Because that's all I got right now that I can probably try to fit under there. Con Rice at Aeromata X Class uses Tektro brakes. There we go. I'm going to pull out the rod one up again. So, I mean, that little center area definitely looks like there's a lot of room to put something in there for sure. I'm not sure if a triangle pack would fit in there, but I have two UPP batteries. One is a 52 volt. The other one is a 48 volt, but I'm gonna bring over. Actually, it doesn't even matter which one I bring over. It's probably gonna be the 48 volt. Nope, it's the 52 volt. Oh, we got another super chat. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Guys, just so you know, if you guys hit that super chat, we will get to your comment right away and it looks like it's gonna fit oh very close yeah that'll fit but you gotta kind of work that wire try to it's probably gonna be <laughs> more like this and then run the wire down here out of the box and probably xc60 come out of here plug it in there maybe the battery blender would work in there it's kind of tight on the back end there but man that should be able to work now, you, now you're giving me ideas, bro. I'm like, oh crap, can I have my own second battery? Hmm, would I be able to get maybe like flatter screws to get a little bit more room to get that wire to fit? Okay, sorry, <laughs> I'm sitting here like thinking to myself, oh, that too? Bro, thank you for the idea. I think I'm gonna have to try this. Nope, not that way. Yeah, so UPP battery would fit in there, but you just gotta figure out a way to get that wire not to get pinched. See, it's tight that way, but not as bad this way. So that would be the way you have to, I think, go. Yeah, okay, enough of that. <laughs> okay, so the super chat is from Basura. Thank you. Thank you so much. They asked, have you or will you ever do a video on best accessories to get for an e-bike? I could do that for sure, for sure. Maybe we could even do a live sometime too. That way I can pull everything out. <laughs> oh, let me show you guys uh, one of my favorite accessories that, 
Somebody showed me on a group ride not too long ago. This freaking cup holder from Amazon. I have that in my uh, Amazon uh, little store. So if you guys are interested, check out the Amazon link down there. But it's a little cup holder? Oh, cup holder right here. So what's cool about this is you can tighten it up, loosen it up, make it really big. You can put like the big Yeti cups in there, or you can put like a speaker in there and tighten it up and have a little spot for a speaker. So there's a link for that cup holder in his Amazon store, link yep. down below. Yep, yep. So yeah, that's like one accessory I'm very stoked about. And then of course I use my, uh, my tack form foam mount, which makes it really easy to put everything on just one-handed, or that's two-handed. One-handed, you can put that on. Where, where's a phone? A phone, do you guys say phone? So one hand, boom. That easy. Tack form foam mount. Tack form foam mount. Takes jumps and everything. Yeah. I've, There's I, a link I, for that. Below. Actually, the only time it ever fell out is when um, when I was saying that every time you see the grass, you got to ride through the grass and you got to fall through the grass. So I don't know if you guys know, I had a very viral fall on my YouTube channel <laughs> that I put on TikTok, that I put on my shorts, and it just went viral. Um, yeah, that was the only time I've ever fallen in the phone, like, release, the phone out release my phone. Everything released. <laughs> Everything life. released. Uh, so I fell right through that grass. I rode through the grass, and I fell through the grass. <laughs> if you guys want to see that fall, just check on my shorts. It's probably in there. Or the video is called, like, the something about my first ride with my girlfriend was w the worst ride ever or something like that. The first ride was a disaster. Trying to impress a girl or something. Yeah. Is the Zeus bike a good fit for a five foot seven person? Man, I wish Dee would want to try to sit on his bike, but she's yes, like five foot three. It is. I am five foot two and I ride the Zeus bike. I fit on it. So five foot seven, you would definitely fit on the Zeus bike. Definitely. And you, may, you might be even doing some wheelies. Do you have a <laughs> Zeus bike you can pull in here? It's in the basement. I know, but we have two of them. They're both in the basement. <laughs> oh, no. I, we love the Zeus bikes. Do you got, I mean, they'll have to, I'll be off screen for a little bit. And remember, for those of you next, just next joining, video. we have discount links for all of the bikes you see in this video. Use a code. If you use the ride one up, make sure you use the code and the link for it to apply. Do you, do you, are you guys interested in seeing a $1,600 like moped style e-bike, like beginner type bike? I have that in the room. I can just grab right now. It's a free go. Yeah, it'll bring be it comparing out. like. We'll bring out one more moped style bike. The cheapest. Oh, we got the Hemiway Escape 2 right here. So maybe we could uh, bring that out too. Rafael Hernandez, what's up from New York? What's up from Delaware? Loon, what's up guys? I Loon. made it. Loon. I can't wait to meet you, Loon. We got to hang out. Robert Grant said, which brake pads should I use to replace on the C3 Strom? I'm, I'll, I'll reach out to the company and see what they use. I'm not actually sure. That's a Thank you, actually, for bringing that up. I might have to start uh, putting, like, all the the accessories or like replacement stuff on my Amazon stores, like brake pads for this bike, brake pads for this bike, this bike, like good idea. Thank you for, for bringing that up. I appreciate that. So as you guys know, I have this in black and green. This is my black one. Okay. So this is the Frigo. This is the Frigo F1 Pro. So this is another uh, bike that has a 750 watt motor. Supposedly it peaks to 1400 watts, but I think, um, they claim the top speed of 35. I only got like 29 or 30 miles an hour on this bike. Um, but this bike costs, what is it? 1600 or something, 1599, something like that. Uh, great starter type e-bike. Not, not the most prettiest e-bike, but if you're, if you're like having that at FOMO and like don't have an e-bike and you see all these people riding and group rides and you got 1600 bucks, Spend it on this. You don't want to spend four grand on, on, on a super or three grand on that or two grand on this. Get this for $1,500. Use code Shreddy, get $100 off this. And again, the components aren't good, uh, like too awesome. Upgrading this wouldn't be too hard. Like uh, somebody earlier uh, sent me a picture of their upgraded uh, Frigo F1 Pro. They actually stripped it down. Painted the frame blue. Check out my uh, Instagram stories if you're friend with, friends with me. Painted the frame blue. Uh, put a 52 volt, like 
30 or 40 amp hour battery right here in the frame. Man, like his bike looked awesome. He did a great job. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if he upgraded the brakes. So these are zoom, zoom brakes. Um, something easy to upgrade, but if you want a nice starter bike that you kind of work on. Affordable, cheap starter yep. electric moped. Easy to upgrade. Go. This Discount is Discount link in the description below. Use code Shreddy, $100 off the Frigo F1 Pro. C3 Strom has joined the chat. What's hello. up, C3 Strom? Let me so pull them out. From C3 Strom. Let's get that bike out. We'll get that bike back out. So, as you can see, the Frigo is a very small, like, short, compact type bike. When this one, the C3 Strom is very moped esque, like, futuristic. Solid, futuristic e bike. This thing is, is very comfortable to ride on the streets. Uh, you got the hardtail, so I definitely want to just keep it on the streets. It feels really good riding. Um, I never took this one downstairs. I should have done that. Now that I'm, I'm braving the stairs, I'm going to start taking all my e-bikes downstairs. Oh, and again, <laughs> Dee's not happy about that. She thinks I'm going to get hurt. But again, the, these co come with moped street tires. So that's what tells me is like this bike, you want to keep it on the streets. Don't, don't beat it up off road. This thing is awesome. Awesome for getting around. Um, again, you can add a secondary battery on the back. So if you like riding around, it'll give you a lot more range. Um, I feel like a bike like this would be awesome to take out, maybe grocery shopping, stick a rack back here, put your groceries back there. Super, super fun to ride. Very nice, solid frame. Again, it has highs and low beam, 750 watt motor that peaks to 1400 watts. So C3 Strom, definitely, definitely an awesome e-bike. Yeah, it's a great design. Very futuristic looking. Looks like a robot. So solid. Why don't you like, turn the lights on? Oh yeah, let's get back. Let me get back around. Louis Shredhead's member said sick body on that C3 Strom. Definitely, definitely. I love how they have the battery underneath right here with the, the bars kind of protecting the battery. So if you were to drop it, it would land on the bars and not hit the battery. Like, see how my Super has a battery just on top with no bars protecting it? If that fell and were to hit something, it could probably knock, break, uh, and knock off of there. But uh, same thing with the, actually the uh, Ride One Up. It does have two bars on the top of the battery. So the battery's mounted on top on both of these, and the battery's mounted right here in the bottom on the C3 Strom. And again, we have this huge 50, I think 53 tooth sprocket. So if you guys watch my video, you guys can see me pedaling this bike at very high speeds and actually still feeling resistance and feeling like I'm helping it out. Any questions, guys? And again, uh, super long crank arms on, on the C3 Strom and short, very short crank arms on both of these, the Super 73 and the Rev 1. Not meant for pedaling. <laughs> C3 Strom, discount link in the description below. Yep. All right, guys, we'll try to get to some more of your questions. Feel free to... Oh, while we have C3 Strom in here, I've had people asking me also, actually, um, Hey, Shreddy, uh, do you know if C3 Strom is going to come out with, with, with a rear suspension on that bike? Is that something that you can tell us right now, or is it something that, that might be coming out in the future or something? I know I've, a lot of people have been interested in, in uh, having rear suspension also. We're trying to get through all I'm the comments right now, guys. To get to some comments we can answer. What's the top speed for the Zeus? The top speed for the 1100 is about 32 to 33 miles an hour. The 750 is around 26 miles an hour. Make sure you guys check out every, every single bike that I'm showing you guys today. I have an unboxing and assembly video that normally they, they would be live and also a review video. I have a review for all these bikes and also have range. I think I have range tests for the suit. I have a lot of range tests for the Super 73, a few range tests for the Aerial Rider. I think like two range tests on, on the Bandit. Source? And, go, ahead. go ahead. Oh, and I did pretty much when I did my reviews on both these bikes, I, I, I killed the batteries because I was beating the hell out of them, taking them off road through the sand, off freaking sand dunes and just going crazy. So I'll, I'll do a real full throttle range test on both these bikes very soon. I'll keep it on the road only. C3 Strom said the V2 with full suspension will come out in May or June. Oh, Please oh. stay tuned. Let's go. You heard it here first. <laughs> V2 C3 Strom coming out very soon, guys. So 
definitely stay tuned for that and hopefully we'll have that on the channel around then so you guys can see what it's all about and we can actually compare both of them once they put suspension on there. That's okay. awesome. Use code Trader C3 Strom. Use mm -hmm. the link below to check out C3 Strom. Yep. Um, here we have Illinois in the house. Reezy said hello. John What's up? Hamilton. Michigan here. Michigan. How do you fit the man bun in the helmet? Oh, no. I put it down. I take it down. I, I'll either like pull the lower man bun. Sometimes I've, I've, I've tried putting helmets on, and what happens is it like rips your hair. It hurts. So, yeah, I usually lower the bun or... Or just like do a ponytail, but if I do ponytail, sometimes like the hair comes out and it get, gets a wind and it turns into a dread. I don't know, dreadlocks out. <laughs> I might have read this. Missouri said, "I just got the cage for the Rev One. My my bike arrives tomorrow." Nice. What do you think about the cage? What's the quality? I'm I, I can't wait to get mine. I'll be getting actually ride one up is sending me the cage for that very soon. So we'll do a mod Mondays or, or mod struggling with shreddy day one day. Reezy, which headlight do you prefer? Out of all these? Oh, they're all the, different. Yeah, but upgrade to the Wicked Thumb headlight. Just for the fact that you can get this in um, copper, like an all copper light, or you can do copper and like the this chrome, or you can do all these different combinations of colors for these, for these uh, headlights. And I think it just makes your bike look Badass. <laughs> yes, but I think um, that headlight would be good upgraded on a lot of the bikes, but not the C3 Strom headlight looks perfect for the design. Yeah, I would not change that headlight. Big beefy. I forget how many lumens that is or lux. They, they, I forget the lux on that. Is it 170 lux? My brain can't remember. Jova, I finally got my bike. Went eight the X. Oh, I went and got the Airbrider X Class 52 volt. Nice. What do you think about it, bro? They might be getting some new bikes coming out soon this, this year, actually. Remember to check out Eddie's discount code for Air Rider below, or discount link. Um, the story of us, where do you guys get your second batteries? Uh, so that UPP battery, I, I'm pretty sure you can actually purchase that off Amazon. And I do have, I'm pretty sure I have a link for that if you go into my Amazon uh, store. If not, I can always send you a link for the UPP battery. <clears throat> The people, hello from Wisconsin. What's up, Wisconsin? Grizzly Bandit. Um, Basura, yeah, we answered that. Would you ever do a video on best accessories to get for your bike? Robert Grant, I got a group ride coming up in New York City for C3 Strom on Sunday. Oh, damn. I wish I would have known. And Sunday's going to be nice, like 60-something degrees. That's awesome. Damn. So it's going to be an all oh, C3 Spark Strom? Oh, is in the chat. There Spark they are. Let's the Bandit. Now let's get the bandit out here. That way you guys can get any uh, questions out of the way. Well, I am back. I am back, so hopefully they're still in the chat. I'm still. Oh, you're far back. Oh, man. Spark, we're, uh, we're going to pull out the bandit right now again. And that way, since you guys are here too, you guys can feel free to answer any questions. So right now, guys, we have Spark Cycle Works and C3 Strom live in the chat. So if you guys have any questions, for them, make sure you guys reach out right now through the chat. And uh, like C3 Strom said earlier, they have a V2 with suspension coming out. So you heard that here first, guys. So be on the lookout for that. That's a very exciting news. Very exciting news. My Spark Cycle Works Bandit. I'll just sit on it right Is here. Is the C3 Strom with a suspension available for pre-order through Shreddy's link? Uh, yeah, I don't think out. they've announced anything yet, so I'm not sure if they can pre-order it just yet. Oh, here, C3 Strom has also said, if you just use the throttle with 30 miles per hour, the max mile can reach 40 to 45 miles. Oh, wow. Okay. And about the customer service, now we are almost 24 hours online, and later we'll open the phone connect service. You can call us directly. Very nice. If you guys have any questions, you can talk to them directly. That's awesome. Great customer service. It's nice to have good customer service. Uh-oh. My kickstand's about to fall up. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Speaking of good customer service, we're moving on to the Spark Bandit. Spark Cycle Bandit Works. Spark. Another brand that has amazing customer service and just amazing people working for them. So if you guys have any questions, Spark is in the chat. And again, this is another electric moped that can be legally turn into a street moped and you can ride on the street with traffic. You got turning signals on the front and rear. Um, 
Actually, this is a, the older Bandit, so I don't have the, the turning signals like that on the rear, so the newer ones are gonna have that. They're, you guys are gonna have a brighter tail light than we have here on the V1. Um, a 52 volt system instead of 48 volts right now. And again, with every Bandit purchase comes a jacket where you can get achievement, then they'll send you patches. So every time you get an achievement, sew it on or, or iron, iron it on, patch it up. Crazy from the heat said, hope the V2 of the C2 Strom will be available on pre-order for a good price. Uh, make sure you can always use Shreddy's discount code and link to get yep. saved $50 off. So how soon will pre-orders be ready for them? They said that announcements in May? Or they're uh, gonna no, be... the bike is available in May. Oh, available so in the May. The pre-order is probably starting very soon. That's freaking awesome. I love that. Louis said so many choices. So I little help time. You guys narrow down your choice. <laughs> Just get them all, bro. Get them all. <laughs> so what bikes do you think, what bikes are your favorite? List them out. What bikes do you think you would want? Leave a comment. There, there's actually a lot of bikes coming to the channel very soon. I know. Let's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But yeah, there's a lot, a lot of, a lot of bikes coming to the channel. And again, I did say it the other night, there's one that you guys have been asking me about, like crazy have non-stop asking me about this bike. So that'll be on the channel very soon. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't want to tell you yet, <laughs> but it's a very cool bike. Skip Wilson said, hey, my guy. Oh, Skip is in here. What's up, bro? Where the hell have you been? Yo, give me a shout. I still have the same exact phone number. I would love <laughs> to talk to you, bro, for sure. Reezy said that headlight is awesome. I, yeah, I do like the, the double headlight, but with, ah, with the the fairing i just i want like a big round headlight can right you turn there. on those headlights i For love the double headlight i think it makes their bike stand out i see have... connecticut said spark will you be doing some group rides soon oh you know they will you know they're going to be having cookouts and and all that fun stuff oh let me get a battery on here hold up hi da. coyote said should have my red one delivered tomorrow super pump hell yeah send me a picture through instagram i would love to see it yeah when you guys get your bikes in post a picture on instagram and tag Freddy and he can share it spark cycle works absolutely we will be putting out a calendar soon for Whoa. the group rides so i'm gonna put my 48 daniel volt kim i'm now. ordering a rev one awesome daniel check it out through shreddy's link and use code shreddy to save 50 dollars off if you order before march 31st sorry evan fruge another shredheads member i made it hey guys what's up evan louie the bandit anaconda hugs bandit looks dope can you see the light is that okay jay leno got the rev one ordered you won't regret it Awesome tag, Shreddy, when you get them in. I thought I just hit the gas with the, oh, where the kickstand was down, and I, oh. Yeah, that was almost <laughs> bad. I almost like straight up scraped the Daniel floor. Kim, I'm new to the electric bike scene. Oh yeah, so what 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 e-bike has you in, has your interest right now? Let me know, out of all these, which one did you like the most? What piece your Clayton, dang, I'm looking forward to scooping my first e-bike. Hell yeah, I think this is the best place to start. We got a lot of options here. The weather's starting to get warmer, guys. Any questions you got, I'm here. You guys got me right here with all these bikes. So I'm here and ready to answer any questions you may have, guys. Oh, Evan Fruge, I heard they're bringing back the e-bike tax credit. That, I did hear that actually recently, right? They give you like, what, 1,500 bucks or something like that? Towards a bike? Over 9,000. He also ordered a Rev 1. Hell yeah. Clayton said, I see a few of you, you here chose the Rev 1. Yep. Oh, uh, Spark. So right now you guys have the Bandit on sale for 31.25, a spring sale going on. So that's going to be the stock Bandit. And then from there, you can start upgrading and modding it to whatever you want it to be. And if you use this code, what's your too. discount code for Spark? Code Shreddy. Get 100 bucks off of it. Code Shreddy. Yep. additional $100 off. Yes, sir. Works. Yes, sir. The Spark Bandit right here. And again, mine has a dual battery set up running in parallel, two different voltages, which is very cool. I do that with the battery blender. I do have another blender I could probably find and show you what it looks like, but the blender is in this little compartment right down here with the controller. And the newer bikes, actually, this little compartment's a little bit more compact and smaller. So there is a few little subtle differences between this bandit and the ones that they're shipping out now. 
Coyote Sex is some late to the party. Sorry if this was covered, but wondering if you were able to test the range of the Rev 1. I have a group ride this weekend, 19 miles, and would love to make it. So you're going to do pretty well going 19 miles. As you guys know, if you watch my Rev 1 video, I killed the bike in 18.9 miles, but I was literally full throttle the whole time, going through the beach full throttle, doing burnouts, and then doing these crazy, like, like I don't even, like, berms or whatever the heck you call them. Uh, just beating the hell out of that bike. So I... I Pretty much at full throttle on this, 18.9, about almost 20 miles. So yeah, you, you should be fine as long as you don't treat it like Shreddy did on that, on that review. Sparks Bike Works in the chat. Louis Sick Bike Bark. Spark Cycle Works, Javelin, Javelin, Javelin. Yes, Spark, when is so, the Javelin coming out? We're going to have Spark back on the channel very soon because I know you guys have been asking about that Javelin like crazy. They've been putting up uh, a lot of info on that and... I know you guys are, are ready to see something with that bike, so uh, we would love to have Spark back on the channel with their crew and just see what kind of craziness they have been getting into. Daniel Kim, I'm five foot four. Which bike would be best to Oh stand man, you're like, these, you're like these size, huh? These so which like, is the shortest out of these bikes? These uh, five foot three. Oh my God, the shortest? Oh, I mean, as you know, we can make the bandit lower. They have an option for lower bandits. So, uh, I think we, we can fit up to five foot one on the bandit. Spark, you're in here. Help us out on this one. I'm not sure if I'm totally correct. They can lower this to pretty low. Um, the other bikes, like all the other moped bikes are a little bit taller. So you may be like tiptoeing on most of them. But with the uh, Spark Bandits, they do have a, a kit you can order um, or you can order it where they would lower it for you, like already made from back to you. And also, um, the Zeus, which isn't shown here, we yeah. need to pull out. It's downstairs. Uh, the Zeus e-bike, uh, he has videos for that on the channel and a discount link below. Mm -hmm. That is great if you're 5'4", because I'm 5'2", and I can fit on the Zeus. Yep. And it yep, has yep. tons of power. He's cool. I'm just going to put these next to each other to kind of show you, like, the size. The uh, C3 Strom does feel a little bit lower. It looks lower. That seat looks lower, C3 yeah. Strom. So maybe that one fits up to five foot three. Let me let me check out, out the size for the C3 Strom. Chronicles of Teleria, I love the windscreen on the Bandit, and that was an add-on. Yeah, the fairing was was an add-on. I love that. Hold on, what were we looking up for the ride one up right now? The height. Okay. Or the seat. Five foot four. Which bike would be best stand over? <laughs> this EV is on fire. He put half. this fire on and I said that looks like no, I'm like <laughs> on fire. I like that. Oh, I was, it should be like death metal playing in the back. Raphael <laughs> said he went 48 miles on the Spark Cycle Works Bandit. 48 miles? Damn, that's awesome. Do you have, are you running the dual battery set up? Hold on, what am I looking up again? I keep on. The seat height of seat. the um Of the C3? C3? Okay. Or like how tall? Okay. Woku say, can I see a size comparison with the Zeus? Okay. Eddie, you need to bring a Zeus it's up. It's coming. You guys, we're going to bring a Zeus up. I'm making him. Test ride. Blah, it's blah, great blah. for shorter people. It's a fun bike. It's cool looking. Discount link for that below too. I can't find like anything of, of like the size. C3 Strom, what height range is uh, for your bike? Are they still in here? C3 Strom, you guys still in here? What's the height range for yeah, your I don't, bike? Yeah, I don't see it on their, uh, on their website. Multi-class, one to three, off our 80, 80 newton meters of torque on the C3 yes, Strom. Yes, the speed also. he is saying or GPS verified because he put the GPS on all of his range test yep. videos. Yep, it's out. called the Speedo app on uh, uh, Apple Store. S-P-E-E-D-O, <laughs> Speedo. Hold on, what did they want to see compared to what? The zoos? zoos. To what? Just. They want the it. zoos? Okay, all right. Luckily, there's no battery on there. <laughs> We're going to the basement. You guys are going to hear me running down to the basement, trying to get past batteries and bikes and more bikes and more bikes. Oh, it's nice and cold down here. All right, we're, we're pulling up the 750 because this is the first one that I can get to. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's actually pretty light, so I shouldn't have a hard time getting it up. Oh, I'm, I'm wrong. This is the 1100. Ugh. They both look the same. Oh, I hope I don't faster. put a hole in the wall. Oh. Oh. 
You guys are probably like, what the hell is that noise going on? I got it up. I got it up quick. Good job. Hold on, that sounds weird. <laughs> guys, that sounded weird. All right. All right, this is Dee Dee's bike. As you guys remember, I gave her the 1100 and Dee Dee. Why did you choose the 1100 over the 750? Why because did you the like it? 750 had a lot of torque and I didn't want to go that fast. This was not as fast. Sorry, I didn't mean to touch that. So this is great if you're five foot one and higher. This is great. Low seat. 52 volt e-bike, 1100 watt motor. Uh, it's got a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery back there. I don't even put it on there. It hangs underneath here in the frame. Um, top speed for this one is 33, so it's faster than the 750, but the low end torque isn't as crazy as the 750. You hit this full throttle, kind of like lags. The 750 almost makes you want to do a wheelie. So I would say if you're going to be, damn, I'm a little tired from carrying this thing up. So if you're going to be like, uh, wanting to just wheelie the zoos and take it to, to parks, jump it around, get the 750. If you're gonna be using this as a, like a moped, just getting around town, you wanna go quicker, get the 1100. And again, I'm almost six feet tall. And then this is how I sit. This is definitely the lowest out of all these bikes because look how bent my knees are. Like I'm very flat. Um, Nice, comfortable seating position. This has the lower bars. I actually don't think they have the low rise bars anymore. They have like the higher rise bars I have on the 750. It's not that high. It's just a little bit higher. Nah. Actually, I like the look of these though. I like the very sleek. I actually like it a little bit higher because they don't lean over so much. More comfy, yeah. yeah. You're right. Yep, so that's a Zoo's 1100. And what's the discount Zoo. code for Zoo? Well, you use code SHREDDY220, get a... $150 off your order on these. And just so you guys know, right now they are having a competition. If you guys are, are into building e-bikes, they're having a build a competition of zoos. They'll sell you just a frame. They also have like, uh, like motors and controllers that they sell also, but you can pretty much do anything you want with the bike. You can make it like a dual motor, whatever, put suspension on the front, like anything. And the winner of that gets a grand prize of like $5,000, which is pretty awesome. So I would love to do something like that. So if you guys are interested and you like building bikes, join that, join that freaking build off. I, I would love to see what you guys can come up with on the zoos. And uh, Zeus is from Texas. Yeah, they're in Fort Worth, Texas. Yep. Yes, sir. And what's your discount code for Zeus? Shreddy 220, 150 off. <laughs> we have another Shredheads member. What's up, Shredheads? Dimebag Darren. Dimebag, where you been, bro? We're out, we're out here just talking about all these moped style e-bikes. I had to bring the BMX style e-bike because it's, it's kind of like a moped style because we have this nice long moped seat. It goes fast. It's like 33 miles an hour, so can't beat that. It did have a chain guard, so that's what this little thing was. I took it off. But I've, I've definitely had a blast on this bike for sure. No suspension. That's the one thing. If, you're, if you love your biscuits and you think you're going to be riding around like... <laughs> as your all-time traveler bike just this doesn't have suspension this is definitely a fun bike to rip around on for sure yeah check out his videos on the zeus they're they're really fun yep yeah i'll just sit on it again there we and go and shreddy has a zeus too that doesn't have hot pink handlebars yeah <laughs> there we go that's the only thing uh, about the kickstand on the uh, spark they actually moved it back so the the pedals don't get stuck on it like it, we do have here I never had that problem. Just so you guys know, Zoos does have other colors too. Their newer models have, have actual connection points for baskets and things. They have like all these different colors, green, white. Ah. I forget what other colors they got. I know they had a green, gray, a white, a gray, black, chrome. Yellow. Did they have a yellow one? Yeah, check out Zeus, the link down below. Yep. And what brakes do we have? Uh, these brakes are, are no name too, but they feel great. And then the rotor is a 203 millimeter rotor. This thing, this thing does have great stopping power. <laughs> Any questions, guys? Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Sparks said, could tie one on with the battery blender shreddy. Could tie, what, say oh, that again? Probably when you're putting the batteries together. 
Louis, and Louis Shredded Member says, hell yeah, nice battery blender in there somewhere. It's in there. <laughs> so the controller is plugged into the middle and the, the batteries are on the outside. Woku said, would the battery fit on a Zeus or are there more alternatives? What, say what? Like an oh, extra battery? Let me just tell you this actually, what's really cool about this bike, the Bandit, the Ride One Up and the C3 Strom. All these bikes, do have interchangeable batteries. I can use the battery from this bike on that bike, vice versa, all the way around. So that's the really cool thing about that. But anytime you do swap out the stock battery and use another battery, it does void your warranty. But if you do have other e-bikes with the same type of batteries, they work, bro. They work. So and if you be want careful. long range. Try them at your own risk. <laughs> yeah, we hear a lot of stuff going on with uh, like the Chinese know. batteries that don't have like the certification on there and stuff. All these bikes are certified. They have certified batteries. Actually, not sure about the Frigo. I have to look to see on the <laughs> certifications on that. <laughs> what was like UL or CE certified or something like that? Skip Wilson said hydration is key. Over 9,000. I'm sold. I'm getting the cup holder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did, did you hear me grabbing my water? From his Amazon link below. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, it's getting sweaty shreddy up in here. I'm not even struggling. We're good. I see that I just got the handle slash cup holder. Where's the tree? Man, you guys really miss that tree. I was looking at the tree box earlier. I was like, man, I should just bring it back out and, and just have it again. I oh, no, we have someone in here who's just agreeing with everyone. Let's see. Sleeping Bear. What's up, Sleeping Bear? Who wants an electric moped? As many hoops as the government makes you jump through. Just ride a real motorcycle. Uh, for, for me, gas is ass because it smells. <laughs> Um, I like the, the silence of these e-bikes, the fact that we can take them on trails, um, the beach. walking trails on the beach. Uh, if I tried riding a gas-powered moped on the beach, I think I'd get in pretty uh, big trouble. Or a motorcycle. But we, I live at the beach, so I take all these e-bikes on the freaking beach, and it's a freaking dream, guys. Shreddy used to have a motorcycle, and he does not like motorcycles, but the first time he tried an e-bike... I fell in love. Yeah, well... I love my motorcycles. I love riding my motorcycles. It was great, but I almost got killed on my motorcycle so many times in, in only two years of riding that I was just like, you know what? I'd rather live a little bit longer and get a freaking e-bike. <laughs> so that's what I ended up doing. So many times I've, I've almost gotten sideswiped, people on their phone. Uh, I almost got in a head-on collision with a tractor trailer that veered into my lane. Dude, just people are crazy. And stuff like that can happen with e-bikes, but we can ride on sidewalks. Yeah, you can ride on trails. Trails. Beaches. Mm -hmm. Dirt. Rocks. Yep, yep. Andrew Reed, hello from Ireland. What's up? I'm, I'm, what am I, like 30% Irish? My last name is McKay. <laughs> Woku said, I want a Zeus bike to go to my friend's house without having a ride every time because I'm only 14. Aw, dude, you, you, I think the Zeus is perfect for you, especially 14-year-old. Do you know how to wheelie already? Like, this would be perfect. If you don't know how to wheelie already, this would teach you how to wheelie. All right, now I'm catching up to C3 Strom's uh, messages. Hello? C3! Woku said, I would get a 73, but it's too flashy. I love the Zeus-style bikes. Very sleek. Uh, oh, the one thing I do love about the Zeus, too, is, is the Karen alert is very low on these. A lot of people don't know this is an e-bike. Um, Especially with the 1100, this uh, direct drive hub motor is super silent. Um, they don't even know you're an e-bike. So that's what I like about this bike is super, super discreet. It's like stealthy. stealthy. It's very stealthy e-bike. So if you're worried about Karens, this bike's got you covered. Uh, Newsy says cities need to build us bike highways now. Yeah, I totally agree. I was actually talking about that earlier because where we live, I live on the other side of a uh, major bike road called Route 1. Crossing Route 1 to get to the other side, it's it's just insane. It's very dangerous. Kind of wish they'd give us like a walking bridge with like somewhere you could bring your bikes up or something would be cool. Shredhead is member Fluff24 said, is there a benefit to having a bike gear shift? What do you mean? Like having gears on the bikes? So yeah, for like the Bandit or the C3 Strom with having uh, eight gears and like the bigger sprocket on the front, while you're going full throttle, you can actually pedal and help the bike a little bit. So yeah, having gears definitely helps out too with, uh, say you have a battery death and these bikes are heavy if you don't have like different gears to go through. You can always like go on the lowest gear or gear one, pedal at home if you, if you can. 
The source said, I don't know what's uglier, the Grizzly or the Frigo. The Grizzly or the Frigo. To be dude. honest, <laughs> Vasora, when he got the Arrow Rider Grizzly, it was a good looking bike. Then he put a short seat on and he put all these green bags all over it. So I yes, love it my looks Grizzly. Bad. But when he got it, it's a good looking bike. It's also one of its top sellers. If you guys are interested, check out the e bike discount links down below. I'm in love. Check out all the e bike <laughs> discount links down below. With my Grizzly. That's why I asked him, I was like, will you take off all those green bags oh and like, my God. put there the seat go. back on? Jeez, 688 views already. Jeez, guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out on this live stream. What is it on a Thursday night, the 23rd? You guys all rock. Who votes for Shreddy to take off all these green bags all over this bike? No. So you can see what it really looks like. Dude, you don't know what I'm doing. I have an, a very crazy idea for the Aerial Rider Grizzly that I'm doing this summer with the rear rack. Actually, I'm going to have to take off this bag for my idea. <laughs> it's going to be freaking awesome. I can't wait till you guys see what I, what I call the video, what I do in that video. It's going to be awesome. I'm taking it to the dunes. It's going to be awesome. And something's going to be here. Stuff is going to be just freaking awesome. So the Grizzly, <laughs> so these are the two ugliest ones that you said. <laughs> There's a Grizzly and very similar looking, right? What do you think? No. In person, no, kind of, kind of. I mean, bit. like maybe style. A little bit. But a little bit. I keep on moving it back and forth so you can kind of see it. What do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys think they kind of look similar? All right, out of these two, which one's the Can ugliest? Can we see the Grizzly bike? I mean, light. The Grizzly light? Again, this is the Has Wicked Thumb. Green bag this on is, top of the light that's my tool too. bag with no tools in it. Come Good, on. Let's get it off then. I like that. It's my, uh, I don't know. Poor <laughs> Grizzly is all covered my, up. My luggage e bike. <laughs> but that's that, yeah. So. Which one, all right, out of all these e-bikes, oh, we should be putting poles up. Which one is your favorite bike Which out of all of them? Which one's your favorite bike, you guys? Can Comment you put up a below. pole over there? I don't know if that'll work. Also, guys. just remember from not getting to your comment, feel free to send a super chat and I'll read it right away. Uh, Mike Rosado, what's up from Jersey? What up, Jersey? What Skip, up from Delaware? Skip Wilson reminds me of a Tron light cycle. Pull the Rev 1 Sick up Sick body again. on the C3 Strom. Let us know if you guys want to see any more bikes, if you want him to pull them back out. Ooh, snap. Robert Grant, I have a starter Frigo folding bike rechargeable during PAS. Pedal assist? Pedal oh, assist. so every time you pedal, it, it, it regens. That's pretty cool. So again, rev one, ride one up. Let me get the Grizzly out a little bit more out of the way. 2345 for this bike after you use code Shreddy. It's a 52 volt e-bike. 20 amp hour battery, 750 watt Bafang motor with a 1400 watt peak. And out of, um, actually not out of these four, that one's now the fastest, close to 45 miles an hour. Second fastest is gonna be this, about 35 miles an hour. 34 miles an hour for the C3 Strum. 30 to 32 miles an hour on the RX. And then the Frigo F1 Pro, about 29, 30 miles an hour. Aero Rider Grizzly, actually, you know what? That's faster. I totally forgot. I hit 36 miles an hour on my review of the Grizzly. So the Grizzly is in second place, third place, fourth place, fifth. I'm, I'm forgetting. Uh, <laughs> there's another bike over there too. The, the Zoos goes 33 miles an hour. But again, these are all the moped style e-bikes I wanted to, to compare today. And then what we showed earlier, if you did want to get your own UPP battery that would fit in the frame, but we kind of figured out it would fit that way easier unless we were able to get these like to like flat screws, which would be awesome. But and remember, if you're interested in the Ride One Up Rev One, the discount link is below. You can use code Shreddy in the discount link to yep. save $50 off before March 31st for the first 50 customers. Make sure you use the link when you use the code we were notified today. Yep. So um, I did used to have this UPP battery on the frame here of the Super 73. Uh, but I took it out because it made wheelies a lot easier. Uh, I used to have this little uh, connector that had an XT60 coming out um, of this connector that would hook to that. Uh, but if you wanted to run dual batteries on it that way too, 
it voids your warranty, but it worked out pretty well for me for a while. And I did a group ride one time and we did like 60 miles and I still had battery left over after that long ass ride. So having extra batteries is always a plus. We love extra, extra range because some of us like going for longer rides than 20 miles. Andrew Reed is from Ireland. He said, we don't have any of these models over here, just the Super 73. That's it, really? We got to get some bikes out there to you guys, for sure. Spark, are you guys ever going to deliver to Ireland, C3 Strom? Let's get out to Ireland. Uh, which bike has the tallest seat height? The, the tallest seat height? Hold on, let me actually sit on them all. This is pretty low. The Rev 1 is pretty low, okay? Rev 1 is pretty low. I think the same thing with the C3 Strom. It's lower on the front of the seat, but if you go back, it does raise up a little bit. Not by like too crazy much. Let's see. Super definitely taller than these two, for sure. And I, I think, yeah, the Bandit's taller than everything, so. But again, and, the Bandit comes where you can lower it. Yep, and again, the Bandit does come. You can get it super low to the ground. Did they ever, ever answer if it's up to five foot one? The different heights that we can do on the Bandit? Because they can lower the bike for you guys. No. And the, the Frigo is actually pretty high too. It's got like a very high stiff seat. That one definitely hurt my biscuits. I was thinking about rigging up one of my uh, OC Cafe Racer seats and and putting it on there to actually fit that whole section. You can actually even take off the little front trunk and have like a whole seat. That, that would be awesome on that. But okay, let me sit on oh, this Oh, thank one. you, we got another super chat. Actually, now to tell you, this actually feels almost as tall as the Bandit, so it is pretty tall. And again, I'm almost six feet tall. As you can see, my knees are slightly bent. Nanan just sent a super chat. Thank you so much, what's the question? If you had to pick only one, which would you choose? Oh man, there's so many different reasons as why I would choose which one. It de really depends on the riding conditions I want to do, to tell you the truth. Um, if, do you want me to up front more? <laughs> so it really depends on the riding conditions I want to do. Like Super 73, I've been riding around doing wheelies for fun. Um, the C3 Strom, I feel like it's... Man, it's, it's really hard to figure Drew this Lose out. Drew is in the house. Sorry. What's up, Drew? I'm trying to make it out to California soon, brother. I know there's a lot of fun things going on there, and I definitely having that FOMO. I don't, I don't want to miss out on any, anything cool, you know? But uh, where are we at? Which one's your favorite? Man, it's so hard to choose because they're all pretty much, like, very Give similar. Give us the best features about each one and why you would choose each one. So for, that. like, the Super 73, like I said, the components are awesome. Very comfortable ride. Super easy to uh, wheelie. Very, God damn it, this is the easiest bike to learn wheelies on. I have no idea why, but man, it, it, it took it to the next level learning wheelies on that. C3 Strom. I um, can't see it anymore. Here, I'll lift it sorry up. Sorry, guys. Oh, you want me to move that? I'll get it out the way. This, I wish I had like a bigger like warehouse to do like live videos like this. That way I can actually like ride the bikes around too to show you like the takeoff speed or, or even... You know. Drulos, you need a shred factory for all your I rides. know, dude, I know. Actually. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I wonder if I can show you guys like kind of like the throttle curve on, on the bikes. You hear that throttle curve? It's like what? like it kind of winds up. I gotta make sure not to hit the ground. <laughs> Burnout freaking mark on our house. They would kill me. So where was I? See through strong, more of a moped style e-bike. This thing has a very, very super solid frame. And again, guys, you heard it here first. They're gonna have a V2 with front and rear suspension. I, I just want to show you guys the different throttle curves. So here's a C3 Strom. I wonder if it sounds the same. What do you think? The other one sounded a little bit like louder, a little more. Um, a teeny bit. Yeah, and listen to the throttle curve again. This one had like a slower like buildup. 
throttle curve. Okay. So why is that one your favorite? Like what reasons are each your favorite? Man, like I said, this one, I, I love the fact that it had like moped style wheels and how solid the frame felt, especially riding it on the roads. Off-road hurt my biscuits a little bit, but they do have a solution coming out in May for rear suspension on that thing. So definitely be on the lookout for that. This one has the, I want to say this one probably definitely has the best components with like the suspension on the front rear with the through axle. I feel so much, so much safer having a through axle for some reason, especially when I'm like ripping like some jumps or the other day when I was going downstairs and whatnot. Babe, hold uh, up the back before what? you do that. I am. I thought you were about to start I'm it. I'm like, it. the back tire's not lifted Relax. up. Relax. <laughs> so that, oh, my rear brake's on the left. I swapped it on this one. So this one has like, it seemed like a quicker like startup. The other one kind of ramped up, but. So that's that. And then I almost hit Sparks the horn. Sparks like works back in the chat. I almost hit the horn. We're gonna do, we're gonna show you guys the throttle curve on the Spark next. So still, I think the Rod 1 Up had the loudest motor so far. Even though it's the same as the C3 Strom. I, I did the C3 Strom already, right? Yeah. Okay, now Spark Cycle Works. <laughs> is, is there any bikes that... Steinbeck asks, Spark Cycle Works, I'm 400 pounds. How long shall I break the bandit if I'm just riding fast but not off-road? Oh, yeah. Is there is there a rider weight limit on the... On the bandit, what I say? Like um, 300? Spark said, Darren, surprisingly, the big challenge is tires. If tires got improved, you could have a long life on that bike if you help the motor out on steep inclines. All right, I think I'm going to put the 52 volt battery on the bandit. That way we can show you like the full 52 volt power. Spark said, nice. Also, don't forget we make our extended swing arm that people use to put up to eight kilowatt motors. Yes, sir. I mentioned that earlier, you guys. Definitely, if you guys want to soup up your bandits, make sure you check out that swing arm they have. Pretty beefy. Pretty beefy. Beefy. <laughs> I don't want to like scratch up the floor. I keep on doing that. The bike, the, the tire's not lifted. I know. <laughs> I keep thinking you're going to start and like run it into the couch. All right, we're good. On. Oops. Where's my on switch? Where's my on switch? Is C3 Strom still in the chat? Vardan said, you know if there's going to be any other differences of the new C3 Strom besides the full suspension. All right, here we go. Ready for the throttle curve on this one? And just so you know, this is the V1 Bandit, so... The throttle curve may be a little bit different because they do have a different controllers on the, on the uh, newer bikes that they have, but. So there's the throttle curve on that. You see it kind of like, woo, like winds up. And there's that throttle curve. And then we do have the Grizzly. I have to make sure I have it on single motor though. <laughs> That's the one thing about that bike is if I do hit both motors, that would not be fun. Now, uh, C3 Strom, I, I get this question a lot too, if you guys are still in here. Are you guys gonna have uh, uh, more colors coming soon, especially with that newer bike coming out? And uh, same thing with Spark Cycle Works. I get that question a lot. All right. Oh, uh, crap. I don't have the battery for this. They're all downstairs. Anaconda said, only way to test your e-bike frame oh, wait is on to now. stop at a stop sign and have the Grinch smash into your yeah. rear. Yeah, that's a good test, especially for, uh, for the Grinch's bike. He hit me so hard. Guys, if you guys didn't see that accident, I was in a pretty crazy, uh, actually probably one of my only, is that my only e-bike accident? Probably my uh, only one. Second? I mean, I don't Oh know. yeah, that's right. That was, yeah, that was my first one. Um, I came to a stop sign. I was on my friend's Super 73 RX. Uh, the Grinch was on his own Super 73 RX going about 30 miles an hour, full throttle. He was looking back at his wife that was lagging behind on her Super 73 RX. I'm stopped at a stop sign. 
bro like looks forward. He's right behind my back wheel and, all, and it, you see his feet go down for like a split second and boom, he freaking hits my back wheel, flies over me. I'm like, what the hell? It's like slow motion. Like I'm falling. I feel my ass get grabbed as I fall, land on my back. I see the Grinch on the ground. I'm like, what the hell happened? So yeah, I got, I got pretty wrecked on that ride. So there is a video called like my first e-bike crash. So if you guys want to see that and laugh at me, it's it's there. It's there for all it of you. It should be on Ridiculous soon also. Ridiculousness. Ridiculous. They've actually picked up two of my videos now. Yeah. Um, Spark Psychowork said they use 12.5 inch shocks from Honda CB motorcycles. You can easily swap them out. Shreddy has a set of custom ones on. I love my shocks. And guys, just so you know, we have... Super 73 Spark and C3 Strom in this chat live right now. So if you guys do have any questions that I can't answer and you want them to answer, shoot them a message right now. Let them know. Let them know. Talking to chat amongst yourselves, guys. They're here to help. I'm here to help. Vargas asks, have you raced the Rev 1 yet? How does it accelerate compared to the others? Faster, slower? We're going to have to race. Actually, we're going to do Super 73 Rev 1. Uh, the C3 Strom and Bandit Grizzly. Maybe we'll do like, I'll get a bunch of people together. We'll line up and we'll freaking race. I'll throw a drone up and then you can see like, I don't know, I think that, that'd be pretty fun. But I got to get uh, three other people to ride on these bikes with me. <laughs> yeah, you should do, you should definitely do a video like comparing all these mm -hmm, two. For sure. For you guys. Top five right there. Spark's Lego Works. Spark is only doing black for now. We already have the ability to build 50,000 customization combos. Adding frame colors would complicate it much more. For now, nice. different color shocks is the closest. Would you guys ever um, do like a raw frame for people in the future or maybe just sell a raw frame um, in the future for people that just want to straight up uh, mod from the get-go and not have to strip anything down? Well, I think you can build them on their website, can't you? Uh, you can build from, from what they have, like their components, but some people would want to like, say they want the frame and the swing arm, but they want like a different front fork, a bigger motor, different controller, stuff like that. Jonathan Schaefer, have you wheelied the Rev1 yet? I, I've tried, actually, I don't know if, it, if I showed it in the video, I uh, almost dropped it. I scraped the whole back fender, actually, because um, I never swapped the brake, so when I popped it up, I couldn't grab the rear. I had to like grab the left brake that hit the cutoff sensor and like held it, but the whole back uh, scrape. So I just got to swap the, the brake lines on these two bikes to, to actually learn how to wheelie them. I think it'll be pretty easy to, to, to wheelie the ride one up. I've seen a video of people uh, wheeling the, uh, the C3 Strom. So I'm pretty sure we could do wheelies on both. For sure. We're going to be doing wheelies on the Surron soon too. I just got to get my cojones up. Argy Pitchy, C3 Strom. Yes, that is the C3 Strom. Um, yeah. Shreddy, why don't you tell everyone just joining? So, guys, if you guys are new and joining just now, we are comparing. We did start off with the top three uh, e-bikes that you guys have been wanting me to compare like crazy. The Rev1, the Super 73, and the uh, Astro Pro. And then you guys definitely were like, oh, you guys forgot about Spark and Grizzly. So we, we did not forget about them. We brought them up here. Um, we also have, what, the, the Frigo F1 Pro um, and the Zoos uh, 1100. So if you guys want to see any of the bikes that are out of the scene, we can pull them back in so you guys can check them out. Any questions, let me know, and I can always answer. And if you guys are interested in any of these bikes that you see on today's live video, they are down in the links down below. So feel free to click through there. Um, uh, I think you can do code SHREDDY for the Rev1. Make sure you go through the link. To use that code so they know I sent you. Code Shreddy for Astro Pro, same thing, use that link. Code Shreddy for Spark Cycles, same thing, go through the link to get there to, to use the code. Frigo, there's a link down below for $100 off. Um, use code Shreddy. What else? $50 off for the... If you use Aero Rider's link, it's yep. $50 off through the link. Yep, and then the... And all the discount links are down below, so check them out, yep. guys. And then any kind of accessories I, I recommend are in my Amazon store. There's a link down there, too. And all of you in the live chat, if you see the lit up names, those are new Shredheads members. Yep. We do have new Shredheads memberships available. Yeah, so if you guys do want to join the Shredhead membership, you guys get access to early preview or early release videos, sometimes Shredhead member only videos. Um, we could probably start doing Shredhead members only live chats, like one-on-ones. 
Well, we were talking about doing uh, Shredhead members only uh, giveaways. And then I forget who brought it up. I think it was Scarecrow that uh, we should do Shredhead members t-shirts. So maybe we'll have a tier, like a higher tier. Different where, tiers yeah, for different levels of membership. We could do the Shredhead members t-shirt. And it helps support awesome. the channel. So thank you guys. And your name's lit up in these chats as well when you're... Yep. And what we're trying to do with the Shredhead members and any donations you guys have... Um, I need to get a van, some kind of van, so I could transport bikes around and go visit you guys and go to group rides. Because right now, I don't have a car. <laughs> I got rid of my truck because I was like, you know what? I'm only driving e-bikes. <laughs> but I should have kept my truck because I could have at least brought like two to three e-bikes around. Any Ameri more questions? American Top Gunner, I'm six foot, 300 pounds. I want comfortable and range. Which six one should I buy? 300, man. Six foot, 300, you're going to go pretty well. On the Bandit, you're gonna do great. I mean, even on the C3 Strong, it is a little bit lower. Um, you do great on the Grizzly, especially with the dual motor. That power is awesome. Yeah, Shreddy is six foot also, and yep. he fits perfect on all these bikes. I'm six foot 150, um, and like we said, all actually all these bikes have a 300 and up weight capacity, so you can't go wrong with any of these uh, carrying your weight. But when it comes to maybe if you do plan on pedaling, Maybe get a bike with a longer seat so you can sit back and pedal. Or uh, with a Bandit, you can always get the higher seat, which is pretty cool. Oh, C3 Strom, about V2. We have also upgraded other parts, like display. Is, oh. Oh, for the new one coming out. Okay, yeah, yeah. so it's custom by C3 Strom this time. Frame, saddle, and so on. The V2 will not let you down. Ooh, I can't. Can you guys send me like a picture so I can see? I, I won't share it to anybody. <laughs> I'll sign an NDA. I just want to see it. Please. Damn, imagine that thing with a rear suspension. Hell yeah. Johnny Grays, awesome. which do you prefer more? Super 73 or Rev 1? Man, they're both, they, they both have their own little quirks about them that I like. Um, but if you are looking for more speed, the, uh, the Rev 1 does go about 35 miles an hour, so it's a little bit faster. And it is more affordable. More affordable. Um, doesn't have the dropout fork. We do have mag wheels. And actually what I heard recently about mag wheels is that they do break a little bit easier than spoked wheels. So I'm not 100% sure about that. If you guys know, to me, they drop look them in sturdier, the comments. But <laughs> That's what I thought, that they would be a little more they sturdier. And then Paltima also told me if you were to, to maybe break the motor, like remember when Paltima broke his motor, he actually swapped it out, the internals, and did that. You can't do that with uh, the mag wheels because I think everything's just like sealed in there um, and you can't get the, the internals out. But I could be wrong. Never mind said I got my Shredding with Skate shirt in the mail today. And oh, I hell yeah. It. Send me a picture, bro. I want to see it. Yeah, we'll share you. It. Tag him on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I would love to share it. If you guys um, ever want me to share anything on Instagram, you guys do awesome wheelies. You guys have an awesome modded bike that you want me to share. Um, always tag me. I would love to share your guys' builds and wheelies and cool things you guys do. SSG said, Shreddy, what's the bike with the white walls on the right side with the windshield? Oh, we'll pull that out. So this is the Spark Cycleworks Bandit, and they are in the live chat right now with you guys. So feel free to ask them. Any questions that I can't answer, but I, I can pretty much answer a lot of the questions. Um, but yeah, they're in the chat, so feel free to, to talk to them too. So say hi to Spark, say hi to C3 Strom, say hi to Drulos from Super 73. So we got three electric bike companies live in the chat. So make sure you uh, hop in. I'm going to put my shoe under here because uh, these got to be mad because I did scratch for just a tad bit. Can't get mad at me now because we're live. <laughs> So this is the Spark Cycleworks Bandit. Um, they are the the brand. They come from Brantford, Connecticut. Uh, again, this is now they're they they're a 52 volt e-bike, and this is the old V1 version. I have a 52 volt battery and a 48. Well, this is a 52 volt battery, but I, I have a mix of batteries, 48 and 52 volt, with the battery blender in here. That's what makes it able to use dual batteries in parallel like that, especially at different voltages. Um, yeah, everyone's saying what a cool looking bike. Yeah, so this is this is modded to, to my liking, right? You're you're gonna get a stock bandit. It won't look like that, but you can make it look like that. So you can go in there, modify, you can get the skin wall tires that they have on here. Uh, you can get the front fairing, you can get different headlights, different handlebars, different grips, different pedals, different uh, colored uh, springs, you can get a different uh, uh, swing arm, uh, so much to customize on this e-bike. 
Any, any questions? Any questions? Shoot me. Any also, questions? Also, and the e-bike comes with a jacket with patches. That's right, with achievements. So if you get this bike, make sure you go register for their Amped Society. Um, and uh, with mileage and, I guess, traveling, you can send in, like, how many miles you've done. They will send you an achievement patch that you can sew or iron on your jacket. So that's really, really cool. And something fun for the community, you know? And uh, same thing with, with Bannett. They do have an awesome community of people that like to help out if you guys have any issues or problems. So they've been around for a while, just like Super 73. They have a great community of people. And what's your discount code for the um, Spark Cycle Works Bandit? Use code SHREDDY. Get $100 off your order. And check out the and discount then, link below in yes, the description. Sir. The Aero Rider Grizzly. There's a link down below. Click on the link. Get you $50 off of that. We had a question um, about the Aero Rider Grizzly. Do okay. they sell extra batteries on their website? The Aero Rider Grizzly comes with. So yeah, we do have dual batteries on this bike, which actually gives you pretty awesome range. On the first Aero Rider Grizzly, I did do a full throttle uh, dual motor running dual batteries, and I got around 42 to 43 miles going full throttle. I made it from Lewis Beach, Delaware, all the way to... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Crap, where's High Tide at? Fenway. Bethany. Around Bethany? Fenwick, yeah, Fenwick. Bethany. Close to Fenwick. So, yeah, if you, guys, if you guys look on a map for Delaware, look Lewis Beach to Fenwick Island. So, like, around that that far and back. Um, so, yeah, I went pretty far. Did the battery die? I can't remember. I can't remember. I might have had to pedal it back home and, and charge somewhere on, on out on the road. But it does go pretty far. I lost my train of thought. What was the original question? <laughs> but oh, Grizzly. do they have two batteries on their website? Um, I don't know if they sell extra batteries right now on the website, but they should. But yeah, the, the, the Grizzly does come with 36 amp hours total with the dual batteries. Uh, you got the battery here in the down tube and the battery back here in the back of the frame. Oh, so seat back to seat three strong. They just stated their new V2 model will have a higher frame. It'll be taller? Okay. So that's something to keep in mind, guys. So what would the, uh, the height range be for the newer bike compared to the older bike for, uh, P the, for still, riders? The other one's still a new bike. <laughs> yeah. Um, is it going to have the same look as the bike now? Oh, yeah. I wonder. Is it going to be like the same style but with just suspension? I really want to know what it looks like. Maybe they sent me a picture of it. I would love a picture of that new, of that new bike. It would be really, really Oh, really and awesome. Shreddy asked also, will there be colors available for the C3 Strong? Yeah, yeah. Imagine seeing this bike like in a, like an army green or something, like a camo. That'd be pretty sick. What's oh. cool about the bike is like the frame actually looks pretty easy, like to wrap like different parts or whatever. So if you wanted to get some vinyl and wrap something up here, wrap the battery, you can, you can do a lot of customization stuff like yourself. And again, it does have like a big 54 tooth sprocket on this one. Um, the Bandit has a 60 tooth sprocket. So these bikes, you can get them up to, to speed about 30 miles an hour and still actually feel a little bit of resistance when pedaling. So definitely like that. It's very cool style. Definitely a very e bike, cool, futuristic, I like to say robotic yeah. looking bike. And it's nice that it has, what, what I thought was really cool is the fact that like the rear light looks like it's kind of like integrated into the seat. Like, very sleek looking. Should I turn that on? American Top Gunner, do you recommend a fat tire bike over skinny tires? It all depends, really, on, on, on the riding style. If you, if you plan to take it out on the beach, you, you're, you're not going to be able to take skinny tires out on the beach. Well, the Zeus is fat tire, right? Because you take that on the beach. Did I take that on the beach? I don't even know. It's been so long since I've done the review. <laughs> I probably did take that on the beach. <laughs> the 750, I know that would, take, that would go on the beach. And that has, like, a straight-up, like, slick... BMX types tires on there. American Top Gunner, check out some of uh, Shreddy's, you know, electric bike review videos, and you can see like where he takes them, how they ride, their speed, and all that to know which bike is the best for you. Also, there might um, be a bike you like. I'm also seeing tons of comments coming in right now about the Lyric Graffiti and Voodoo. So Shred the Lyric Graffiti should be coming to the channel very soon. I know they're getting. Uh, all the customers taken care of before they send out bikes to influencers. Um, well, he did already have a bike and he did do a first look like review. First like impressions type deal. Yeah, mm -hmm. video if you want to check that out. It's one of my favorite videos. And what's your discount code for Lyric? Use code Shreddy. It's $150 off. 
of Lyric Cycles, and their discount link is below. Dan, there, there is news coming from them very soon. I wish I could tell you there's stuff coming out that you guys would be excited about, and people have been asking about, too, from Lyric. Oh, American Top Gunner is asking, what bike is the best for him? He has a city commute to work and back 30 miles each way. 30 so miles each way? You're going to have, you're going to need dual batteries, so if you do go with with the Rev or the C3 or, or the Bandit, you're gonna have to do, you should always do dual battery, especially for that, that long range trip. If you're gonna be going full throttle, you don't wanna mess up. And Which bikes come with two batteries? I know the Aero Rider Grizzly the, comes with two the batteries. The Grizzly comes with two batteries, a total of 36 amp hours at 52 volts. Um, you can get the Bandit with dual batteries. I think now their new batteries are like 25 amp hour, 52 volt or 20. They're a little bit bigger now, so you can do a dual battery here. Uh, it's it's going to be an additional upgrade. Same thing with the Rev One; they do have a dual battery setup coming very soon. And same thing with C3 Strom; the dual battery setup's coming soon. The secondary battery will be going on this back rack right here. Will it be running in parallel? I'm not really 100% sure. If C3 Strom's still in the chat, will uh, your secondary battery be running in parallel, or is this just going to be a location to just store the battery when you swap them out? Spark Psychoworks said, I just stored with a, just worked with a customer doing a 45 mile each way today. People are amazing. Nice. 45 miles each way, dude. That's awesome. Like, so that's forget paying work. for gas. Get, get your work to pay for your freaking, uh, your charge. <laughs> when you get the work, get your batteries inside, get them to pay for it. Uh, Diana said, which is the most comfortable seat? Out of all of them? I think, I want to say the, the ride one up so far however shreddy has upgraded all of his seats he mm -hmm. gets them custom made so they are all comfortable for him yep. so Very it's nice easy to get a custom made seat if you ever need a recommendation for custom made seat after you get a bike I mean, feel free to write to shreddy and he can give you his contacts this seat is pretty soft too and very squishy i gotta watch a review again see how i felt after this so like up here it's not as much cushion you'll hit that if you're sitting up front but That's a C3 right here is nice and and thick like the cushion is very squishy and thick and uh, the Super 73, I don't have a stock seat on there. That's my uh, seat from OC Cap Cafe Racer. Same thing with the uh, Spark Cycle Works Bandit. That is an upgraded seat from uh, OC Cafe Racer. So the seats are going to be looking a little bit different. Pull out the 73 again. Uh, Johnny Graves, how much lowers the Rev 1 saddle versus RX and C3 Strong? Versus you, I'll sit on them again, actually. That way you can, it's easier to tell. I'm, I'm almost 6 foot. I'm 5 foot 11. So if you guys just keep paying attention to how I have my knees bent, totally flat-footed, pretty low, very comfy, very comfy. So many, so much moving bikes. I wonder how many miles I just uh, rolled today. <laughs> and then ride one up, rev one. This is definitely lower, way lower than the than the RX. See how much more my knees are bent? Are you guys noticing? Screenshot every time I sit on a bike so you can see my knees. <laughs> and then we did the C3 Strom earlier. Like I said, um, if you sit more forward on a seat, it feels a little bit lower because like the way it kind of like leans down. But this is where I would generally sit for me. As you can see, my knees. Still a little bit bent. They're definitely, this bike is definitely higher than the ride one up. So far the highest one is the Super 73 RX. But that's with my upgraded seat. I don't know with the stock seat, it might be a little bit lower or Can higher. Can you sit on the Bandit as well? Yep, I'm pulling that out right now. And that's another seat from OCCafeRacer.com. Oh so yeah, it's a comfy seat on the Bandit as well. And Spark Cycle Works just said about their Bandit. Single battery on Bandit is 52 volt, 25 amp hour. One 1300 watt hour dual is 52 volt 45 amp hour. And then this is the highest, as you can see how my knees are bent there. And this one feels more of like, like a moped that, that you can ride on the, the road. roads with cars and everything. How long it is, very, very solid frame. Very, very solid frame. Fat tires, you can take this on the beach. I've ridden on the beach. I've ridden around on this thing a lot. You can have a second passenger. It does come with pegs on the back, which I need to reinstall the pegs on, 
on the side of the kickstand. Did they want me to sit on another bike? Is this it? Uh, it's up to you. If I've missed any of your comments, please feel free to um, say, send them again. I know we had tons of comments. Yeah, guys, we try to get to every single comment. Um, but if you guys do want us to get to your question a lot quicker, you can always send a super chat and that does help <laughs> support the channel. I need to fix that. <laughs> All right, we're good. I just don't want the bike to fall on a, our couch. <laughs> tons of people are saying they have C3 Stroms and love them. I've seen tons of comments like that. And then the Frigo Pro. I think, I feel like this is very high too. Okay, now this is, this feels like higher than the Bandit actually. <laughs> With the seat being so stiff, it keeps you up. It, you don't sink into it. Oh, here's a good question. If you have problems with the Super 73 or any of these bikes, how long does it take to get the bike from the company? What do you mean? Like if you have to send something back or? Oh, they've all sent, they all like will send a part super quick or yeah, yeah if you have a problem with the bike, they'll send a new bike super quick. Yep. Like, I mean, they're all good, right? Yes, sir. So if you do ever have any problems with them, reach out to customer service. They'll either send you the part that you need, or if there's something wrong with your bike, the frame, they'll definitely be glad to switch them out and swap them for you pretty easy and quick. Especially right now too, after since like this, the whole pandemic stuff is over before a lot of these bike companies were freaking stressed out with how crazy things got with the uh, pandemic and everybody hopping on e-bikes and People were out of bikes, couldn't get bikes, couldn't get parts, so a lot, it should be a lot easier. And again, you guys wanted me to pull this out earlier. It's the Zoos Ultra Urban or Urban or Ultra Urban 1100. Ultra Light. Ultra, uh, yeah, they changed the name again, right? Yeah, 1100. Uh, so, so that's this, good for shorter riders. Yep, shorter riders. Dee can actually ride this with I her ride uh, that. with her uh, platform shoes, and Dee's about five Converse. foot one. Um, this bike goes about 33 miles an hour. Again, I'm six feet. This is like the lowest bike out of them all. Like, very low, very low to the ground. You can even sit up here. You can actually double a person on the front, right on the back, like this. <laughs> Remember, you guys, discount links for all these bikes are below. Make sure you use the link, even if you use the code, code Shreddy. There's all different codes below. Check them out in the video's description. Yes, sir. Use if you guys want to support. For the discount. And join the Shredhead members. You guys want to support the channel? Click that link down below. Become a Shredhead. Get your name highlighted in, I think, green. And get a little Shredhead next to your name. Be awesome. Help support the channel. And we're going to get a freaking transit van for these bikes. i got to come see you guys. And if you guys still have questions after this is over, make sure you check out Shreddy's review videos that he has done. For all these bikes. Actually, they might be in a playlist, right? Did we put all my reviews in a playlist? We tried to. Well... Start yeah, we might have to go week. back and, and start adding more, but I do have reviews for all these bikes yeah. you see here, plus other ones that are downstairs in the back rooms, more in the garage. First like folks, that. reviews, go to Shreddy's channel, type in the name of the bike you like, and type in the word review. There might be a bike you like, but um, oh yeah, trips, trips are coming soon, guys. Texas, I'll be coming to Texas, visiting two spots in Texas, Denton, Fort, Fort Worth, California's coming pretty soon, so... Let's make some plans. Johnny Gray said, thanks, dude. This helps a ton. Choose which bike to choose. Awesome. Which bike are you going to get, bro? Which bike? Um, American Top Gun. Are these bikes easy to work out on? To work out on? You can pedal. Uh, I would say the Super 73 and the uh, Rev 1, they have the shorter crank arms. They're not super fun to pedal. Um, if you do want a bike to kind of work on, work out on, check out my last review, actually. I did a review on the Hovsko Hov Alpha. It's like an electric tire, like fat bike with a torque sensor. I did not, I did not know how awesome torque sensors were until I finally got to try one. Like, it makes you want to pedal. It makes you want to, like, work out. And the way it works is just so cool. Like, you can... You can pedal really easy and slow. It's a totally different style bike, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a mountain bike style bike. But if these bikes could have torque sensors, I think that would be so awesome, even though I know it's a little more expensive. So which out of these bikes do you pedal on? Hmm. I would pedal on the Bandit, the C3, the C3 Strom, and the Grizzly because they all have gears and longer crank arms. But with them being moped style seats, um, moped style e-bikes, you're not gonna get like a super long extension on your knee. Like you know how when you're riding bikes, 
you kind of want to get your knee almost all the way extended when you're pedaling to, to be more comfortable. With the moped style e-bikes, your knees are kind of like scrunched up the whole time you're pedaling. So if you pedal really far, your knees are going to hurt. I pedal on the Zeus. It's fine. Yeah. But I, if I you're like old pedaling. like me <laughs> and you got knees that hurt, pedaling so, sometimes gets a little crazy, especially on the moped style bikes. But like with a seat like this, you can sit further back, get a little more extension, especially with the longer uh, crank arms and everything. It makes it a lot easier. The, the Rev 1 Super 73... More moped, just straight throttle, ripping around, having a good time on these. Diana said, is there a link for the custom seats? Uh, check out OCCafeRacer.com. I don't think I have them in the links. I don't have any, um, any kind of affiliate links or discount codes for them, but check them out. They have uh, different seats for all types of bikes, aerial riders, uh, juice bikes, uh, the Bandit, Grizzly. They, they got seats for if everything, Super 73. A, if you get a seat from them, let them know Shreddy sent you. Yeah, for sure. And feel free, if you guys have any questions, send Shreddy a message on Facebook, Instagram. Yep. I always try to get back to you. And sometimes I'll even reach out to you guys on FaceTime. So if you guys get a phone call from me, make sure to answer it. <laughs> All beautiful bikes. Let's see. Let me get some you water. guys have any final questions? Any final questions? Damn, we almost have a thousand views on here. Holy moly. 90 viewers, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for joining on a Thursday night. We're gonna do more lives like this comparing uh, different style e-bikes. Um, maybe we'll do like a mountain bike style e-bikes next. I got like three of those now. Carl said I like the silver bike, that's the Zeus. Or did he mean this sil silver one? Oh, Cole said Seether Strom had an Army Green and a Ferrari Red limited edition for the V1. Oh, oh really? I, I have the Army Green uh, F1 Pro. It's just like the all green one. I have that. No, and they said like Seether Strom had it. Oh, Seether Strom did? Yeah. Really? That's awesome. I want a green C3. Hopefully the new one will, will send me out a green one. That'd be awesome. I'm just looking to see if we missed any. Guys, do you have any more questions on any of these e-bikes? Uh, we do have two unboxings coming soon. One from Electric Bike Company. Uh, might open that sometime next week. And then another Angway. Probably open that sometime next week. And uh, what else do we got? We got the review coming out for the Hemiway Escape Pro. Summer's coming. I'm going to be traveling. Hopefully a new van coming soon, guys. C3 Strong, we will send you the photos secretly. <laughs> I love you, C3. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Spark Cycle Works, C3 Strom, and who else was in here? Uh, Super 73. Super 73, if Drew Lewis is in here. Super 73, C3 Strom, Spark Cycle Works. Thank you guys for joining this live. Thanks for helping out in the chat and answering any questions you guys uh, had. And guys, thank you guys for joining this live stream on a Thursday night. So many of you guys joining. Thanks for all the love and support. If you guys enjoy, or if you guys want to support the channel, hold on, we're going to have some answers. We've got some questions to answer. Oh, uh, Brian McCann, another Shredheads member, said so I just got notifications. Brian, <laughs> why is it so late, these notifications? Brian, man, I'm sorry. I, I, I wish you were here from the beginning, bro. Uh, Alexander, will you be getting the Volcom Brat to compare? That's a possibility. There's, there's spikes coming that you guys have been waiting for. Smart Cycle Works sending heart. Love you guys, love you guys. So if you guys want to support the channel, check out all those links down below. Check out the link for the Rev1. Check out the link for the C3 Strom. Check out the link for the Spark Cycle Works Bandit, Zubis Aerial Rider, Frigo. Use Coach Ready on some of these. Get, get money off all of those. If none of these bikes for you, make check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Make We're sure you use the links, guys. So as always, if you guys want to support the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification <laughs> to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. You guys rock. Thank you guys for joining, and uh, we'll be unboxing a new bike and having reviews and Going all over the, the, the USA. I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. C3 Strom said, great chat. Thank you. Bye, guys.